In this video, we have a list, and we need to filter out any records that contain any of the items in this list. Now, last video, Excel Magic Trick 1592, we used this not criteria list, but it was only when there was a distinct listing. So for example, XYZAA, because XYZ was not sitting alone in the text string, we wanted to include this record. But in this video, we're doing a straight contains condition. So any of the text strings in this column that contain anything in this list should be filtered out. Now we need to use Power Query because this is going to be part of a data import process. And similar to last video, this amazing formula comes from the great Power Query master, Bill Sizzes. I've already imported both of these tables. We're going to double click Filter Table to open up the Power Query window. Over on the left, I'll open up the Queries pane. At the top, that's our list of criteria we're going to need to use to filter this table. Now, because we have multiple items that we're going to use as not contains criteria, we're going to have to use a special function called splitter.splitText by any delimiter. And the way we'll use that function is the function will take these two items and use them as delimiters to split the product name. So for example, down here, it'll find AA, so we'll get a split with BB space and the rest of the text. But when we have a product name that doesn't have either one of the delimiters, nothing will be split and we'll end up with a single item. And in that way, the rows that only end up with a single item, those are the rows we'll keep. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way is we'll actually build a function over here and then use it in this table. So to create a function over in the gray, we right click, New Query, down to Other Sources and Blank Query. Up in the formula bar, we type equals SP. I can see in the drop down, there's the function we want, and Tab. Open parentheses. Now we need to bring all of the criteria from that list, so I type the name of the query, Tab. Now the cool thing about this function is when I hit Enter, is that we have a function that delivers as its result a reusable function. Let's click F2. We'll call it something like split by any function. And wherever we use this function, it will know to split the text by whatever's in this list over here. Now we go back over to Filter Table, and we want to use that function to split. So we go up to Add Column. Instead of Custom Column, we can select Invoke Custom Function. The new column name, see Formula Created. Click the drop down. We only have one function. And the one argument it's going to need is from the drop down Product Name. Now remember, split any function over here. When we created it, we added the argument with the delimiters. But now we're adding a second argument, which says, hey, where is the text where we actually use the delimiters to split? Click OK. Now we get a list. And we can see right there, it split just as we thought. And for a product name where there are no delimiters, we get a single item. Now some of the results are strange. Like this one gives us two, and there's only one delimiter that it found. But it actually split, got nothing on this side, and then nothing on this side. Down here, XYZAA22, we get three items. But the pattern we want to use is product name that does not contain those two items has only one row. So now we come up to our formula. And right before split, we say, hey, list dot count, open parentheses, close parentheses, and enter. And it looks like I didn't use the correct case. So capital C and enter. And that's exactly what we want. All of the rows that have a count of 1, those remain in the data set. Anything that's not 1 should be filtered out. So to convert these to trues and falses, Right after list.count, I say, hey, how many of you are equal to 1? 
And when I hit Enter, I get my pattern of trues and falses. True means keep the row. Now, just like last video, we only use table.addColumn to see how the formula worked. But now we want to convert table.addColumn to table.selectRows. And that function does not have the second argument, which is the name of the column. So backspace. And there we go, table.selectRows. When I hit Enter, this will be removed, and the table will be filtered. Enter. And there's our correctly filtered table where none of the product names contain anything from that not criteria list. Now, we did this in two steps. And I want to notice something. Notice the parentheses here in splitter.splitText by any delimiter. I want to come over and do this a second way without explicitly making the function as a separate query. Right click Filter Table, Duplicate, X out, Invoke Custom Function, come up to Add Column, Custom Column. We'll call that Temp Column. And here we're going to use Splitter by any delimiter, open parentheses. And here we type our Not, Tab, Close Parentheses. And now we're going to do something very strange. That's a function with open and close parentheses. But now we add the argument to that whole delivered function of product name. So the syntax is back to back double parentheses. Now when we click OK, we have our list just as we did before. Now we can add list dot count open parentheses, close, enter. We get our count. Now we say equals 1, enter. Change add columns to select rows. Get rid of that column name and Enter. And there it is. We put the function right up here with back to back first argument, second argument. Now I'm going to go to Home, Close and Load, Close and Load 2, only create a connection. That's for our second filtered table here. Come up here, F2. I'm going to call this one two steps. F2, call this one column, and Enter. Right click, Load 2. I'm now going to load this one right there. Click OK. And now we can do a number of different things. If I want to exclude ABC, Enter. Now it's part of this list. There's an ABC there, ABC there. Right click, Refresh. And just like that, that does not contain condition or criteria is helping to filter this table. All right, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Sizzes for that formula. And if you want to check out 1592, that's the query where we made sure there was distinct listings of our not criteria. Check out this video right here. And if you need a full introduction to M code in Power Query, here's a video for you. Thank you.